What is going on, everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day. Guys, I just wanted to hop on here and let you know we've got some really cool new product coming in the shop here from Nori's. Now, Nori's is an amazing Japanese company. Um, they have some really unique and innovative designs in some of their plastics, as well as, of course, a lot of their other baits as well. So we are starting to break into it. We do have a couple things already in the shop here. Some things already sold out, including this right here is their crawler. This is the Walker crawler. This thing is um, full wooden construction on the main body, has very high quality parts, very tunable parts as well, which is another amazing thing I love about Nori's. They take great care and have great innovation in their products here. So this crawler here is uh, again, just a small, I believe it's like three and a half, three and a quarter inches, uh, the washer crawler going to be 83 millimeter and it's going to be 30 gram which is a little bit over an ounce this bait here um we got three of them in sold them out extremely quick we are planning to get a couple more of these but this i just wanted to let you know we are starting to get some crawlers from nori's as well as a couple other things one of my favorites is going to be this guy right here this is called the flip gill now it might look familiar to you if you kept up with the Bassmaster event over on smith lake taku ito was throwing a flip gill. This is the five inch version. They also make a 3.8 inch version. He had both of them up on deck, but did a lot of damage on that little bit smaller size, that 3.8. As soon as we can get those in for you, we will let you know. But as of right now, we do have a couple of these five inch. Now, the way he was throwing it was with forward facing sonar and um, using this guy right here on a Nico rig, a Neko rig, basically using a little nail weight, a one eighth ounce nail weight up in the head using a Geek Crack Nico hack actually, or maybe something that looks exactly similar to it, um, to hold this guy in place. Now you can use a medium or you can use a large. Optionally for bigger plastics like this, I like to go with a little bit bigger size, cut off some of the tip there, and you can uh, Nico rig it very efficiently. Now, the great thing about this guy here, it's a pretty durable plastic and it's also a little bit heavier plastic. Um, it is still very durable, like I just said. Um, you know, the way it flows through the water is very natural. And when you're Neko rigging it uh, above brush piles, it has a very, very good, uh, just kind of like, basically almost like a spoon action where this thing's kind of spiraling down, looks very natural. The little kickers add a little bit of added action on the tail there. So we've got four different colors right now. Um, this one right here is going to be the light green pumpkin, red plus green flake. They also call it Christmas tree. Um, this one right here is going to be cinnamon gill. Kind of looks like a tilapia. It's going to have almost a green pumpkin gray body. Bunch of different flake in there, green, blue, silver. This one here is going to be the watermelon black flake. Very standard color, guys. It's going to be a standard watermelon with a black flake inside of it as well as this one right here. This is another one of my favorites is going to be, actually this is cinnamon gill again. The other one we have is going to be light green pumpkin, blue and purple flake. I guess I grabbed two of these on accident. Um, but we have four different colors as of right now. Very limited quantities uh, coming from Nori's Japan, but I'm very excited to get these in. And finally, uh, this is something that I personally love to do, especially around heavier cover. I hate throwing bigger and bigger plastics, bigger and bigger weights. I just seem to lose a lot more fish. Um, and I really enjoy throwing and finessing down. Now this guy right here is a jig. It's a resin tungsten mixture from Nori's. This is the, excuse my pr pronunciation on this, it's the Kami, Kameraba uh, jig right here. It's going to be a small rubber jig for big fish is what they say. It's got a beefed up hook on it. It's got a very good stout weed guard. Um, Taku actually used to start, he started throwing these uh, way back when. He, he used to throw these years ago. He still throws them, of course. It's an amazing jig. It has a very flat bottom here for full bottom contact. Obviously, since these are more finesse style jigs, uses a smaller head. It is that tungsten mixture, so you're getting a very good return. And having a flat bottom like this, since it isn't a big area, having a flat bottom like this when you're dragging or working around brush gives you a very good, uh, basically, frequency back to your rod, through your line, into your reel, uh, just because it has all that area there. So as you're dragging it along the bottom, guys, you're going to feel everything. I love how they added a little bit of extra uh, skirt in the back here. You don't need to run a trailer on this, but if you do, 
uh, we have a couple options that I'd like to point out here. Of course, first, my go-to finesse flipping bait. If I'm throwing really, really small Texas rigs, this is a go-to. This is going to be the Berkeley Maxent Little Super Trooper. I've been basically flipping this into bushes for a long time now, ever since they came out with this. I also love a 3-inch Chigger Craw, but for this jig here, this 2.5-inch Little Super Trooper matches up perfectly to it. It's going to have a little bit of tail action. It has the jig itself does have a little mono keeper in the back here as well. So uh, your little super troopers aren't going to fall off and stay on very well. Now we've got two sizes as of right now. We've got five gram in two colors right here. First off is going to be the candy brown, which is one of my favorites. And we also have green amber, which is another one of my favorites. If you're fishing clear water, highly suggest going with the candy brown, which is more of like a purpley, a little bit of white, a little bit of green pumpkin. This one here is going to be a light green pumpkin, green flake with some uh, white in it. So awesome colors in the five gram. And we also have the 3.5 gram. If you like throwing spinning rods a lot, this is going to be one for you. You can still throw this on 12 to 16 pound line. Um, like I said, the hook on it is very, very stout. You don't have to worry about bending it out. Very good hook on this one. And these, we have the candy brown again, and we also have a Numa Ebby as well. So very similar to that uh, green amber little bit lighter, has a little bit of chartreuse in there, a little bit of natural uh, brown Numa Ebby color. So guys, be on the lookout for more cool stuff from Nori's. More crawlers are coming in, already ordered. Flip gills, as soon as we get those 3.8s in, we're gonna let you know because it is an amazing bait and I highly recommend you to try these out. Um, again, you don't just have to Nico rig these, but if you do, definitely pick up some Nico hacks while you're at it and be on the lookout for a rigging video. I can't wait to do one of those. Throw it out in the pond, maybe throw it in the fish tank with Clark, see how he reacts to it. But guys, check out all the cool stuff we've got online, brand new. Uh, it should be on the front page under the latest section. And uh, thank you so much for watching to this short little episode here. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, comment down below what you enjoyed in this video here, and we'll see you next time at Lake Pro Tackle. See you guys.